What if you could see brainwaves in real time, train your focus with an intuitive game and uncover your deepest sleep patterns, all with a single headband? Well, stick around because in the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how Muse S Athena, that's the guy I'm wearing here, makes it possible and whether it's worth adding it to your daily routine. You know, over the past decade, I've spent a lot of time experimenting with every health hack under the sun, from nootropics, to cold plungers, to pills, to electrical stimulation devices, you name it. But when Muse as Athena arrived, it promised to bundle meditation coaching, focus training and sleep tracking into a one device. So naturally, I had to see if it lived up to the promise. Now, let's be honest, there is no shortage of wellness gadgets out there. You want sharper focus, calmer mind and better sleep, but it's hard to separate real benefits from marketing fluff. I've been there, you know, skeptical, occasionally overwhelmed and desperate for clear results. But by the end of this video, you'll know how Muse's real-time EEG feedback deepens your meditation practice, if that's your cup of tea, how the OWL game turns focus training into an engaging science-backed challenge, and how its EEG-based sleep tracking uncovers when you're truly in deep restorative sleep. Plus, I'll share my own sleep data and one simple tip for using it wisely without wearing it every night. Now, before we get into this, quick favor, you know, leave a comment below and let me know which brain health challenge you're tackling right now. Is it better sleep, improved focus or stress reduction or maybe something else? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming deep dive tests on some of the other gadgets that I've been experimenting with lately. So let's jump right in into the EEG guided meditation, one of the core features of Muse S Athena. And here is how it works. Muse S or the EEG sensors measure your brain's electrical activity, so delta through gamma waves, and translates calm states into gentle bird sounds, while busy thoughts trigger stormy cues. Here is how it works. You know, imagine you, you wanna meditate. You know, you sit down, crisscross applesauce, you know, hands up and everything is good to go. You close your eyes and you're like, is this working? Am I doing it right? Am I really meditating or am I just sitting still? It's very difficult if you're not proficient in meditation and you don't know how it feels, right? And this is where Muse can really help. There are a couple of those biofeedback sessions that give you audible cues that respond to brain wave activity in real time. So for example, if you're sitting there and you're really in the zone, you're not distracted, there is no chatter in your mind, you hear, for example, bird sounds like chirping. That's an indication that yes, you're getting there, you're getting into the zone, you're calm, the right brain waves are active and the chatty ones are not. If you're, you start drifting, if your you know, head start, start spinning, if you're thinking about a million other things, your next your to-do list you have to take care of, you might hear thunderstorms. So it's a very, it's a real-time audible cue into what's going on in your brain. And so you can use that if you hear like thunderstorms, like, okay, that's for me the cue. I have to dial it back. I have to focus only on my breathing maybe. Maybe you focus on a specific body part and how it feels. You, you reel it back in and try to avoid thinking. And that's one of the best ways I I've noticed to really get a hang of meditation. I've been doing those, I've been running those sessions, you know, there are three, five, 10, 20 minute sessions, you pick what you want, and you really notice how more proficient you get, the more you do that. You really can tell that, oh, okay, I'm in the zone now, nothing is happening, and at the end you get a score, how many birds you've gotten, and it's super fun and engaging, and it encourages you to keep going. And I think that's important because if you're new to meditation and you don't know what's going on, you don't know how it feels, you need this objective real-time feedback so you can learn what works and how to declutter your mind. That has been super helpful. Number two is improving mental strength and your ability to focus. You know, in my job, it's super important that I know how that I be able to focus for extended periods. And I would argue in most jobs, that's probably important. And so what Muse S Athena delivers is in, in addition to the EEG sensors, it has an F NEARS sensor that stands for functional near infrared spectroscopy. And that basically shines a harmless you know, infrared light into your forehead to measure oxygenated or changes in oxygenated blood flow in your prefrontal cortex. So the more blood flow there is, the better your brain works, the better you can focus, the better your mental strength is. And it does that so you can then use that capability in an owl game called Mind Flight, where your goal is just with the strength of your mind to make an owl fly fast and far. 
And you might wonder, well, how am I going to do this? Well, the way I do it is I focus on the horizons. You have the, the game, in the, the phone in front of you, the app in front of you, and you see that owl and you see the horizon. And all I do is I focus intensely on that horizon and I, I kind of visualize that owl flowing far and, and vigorously. And as you do this, your oxygenated blood flow in your prefrontal cortex increases and the owl starts flying. And the better you do this, the farther it goes, the more vigorous it flies. And what's cool about it is that you can really get the hang of it. The more you do this, and you just have to do it five minutes a day, maybe 10 minutes a day, or maybe you do it three times, five minutes a day, whatever fits into your schedule. But it's a very easy way to help you learn what it means to focus, to focus your brain energy on a specific task and only on that task and nothing else. I think that's really the secret to, to stick to something, to one thing and do that really well. And I've been doing this for a couple of times and I've noticed that my ability to focus has increased. My owl is now uh, going farther and farther by just me having learned how to better focus and focus on one specific task only. And that's super helpful because we easily get distracted throughout the day with a million things that want our attention but learning how to focus and sticking to something for a while is an incredible capability and so that's one fun way to improve your focus and uh, doesn't take a lot of time number three is sleep tracking specifically finding out how much time my body and brain ultimately spends in the restorative phases of sleep and so music again uses EEG sleep tracking or it uses the EEG sensors to find out what is happening in your brain and then correlating that with what we know about what the brain does or what brain waves are more active in specific stages of sleep. So are you in deep sleep, in light sleep, in REM sleep, or are you awake? You know, all of those are reflected by different brainwave activity. And so I've been wearing Muse S Athena actually for an experiment for uh, 49 nights back to back so I can find out how my sleep changes by with different interventions, you know, be it mindfulness, be it cold plunging, be it, you know, electrical stimulation and a lot of other things to really find out how it changes my sleep and what is my, what's called my slow wave intensity. So how much, how intense is my slow wave activity while sleeping? Because that's a good indication of how restorative the sleep was. And I've learned that by doing certain things or avoiding certain behaviors, I can significantly improve how recovered I wake up the next morning. And we've talked about this. I've talked about this in other episodes. We're not going to go into, you know, how to improve your sleep, etc. I'm going to link to some of the other resources in the description so you can find that out. But the point here is with Muse S, you can truly find out how well you're sleeping and what's happening in your head while you sleep. That's really cool. Now, there is one catch with Muse S in the context of sleep tracking. It requires an active Bluetooth connection. So it streams data from the headband to your phone to capture all of that data. And so I'm not a huge fan of wearing something every single night that emits Bluetooth, especially not around my head. So I recommend using Muse S strategically if you want to find out how a certain intervention impacts your sleep to measure it, but not to do it every single day. For the meditation sessions, it doesn't really matter to wear it a couple of minutes a day, but I would not necessarily wear it every single night. Also because, you know, some people might find it uncomfortable to wear something on their head every single night. Even though I have to admit this device, this head band is incredibly comfortable to wear so it's not a huge comfort issue but you know use it strategically and use it wisely now if you found this video helpful you know drop a like below let me know in the comments what are you struggling with as far as brain health is concerned as far as sleep tracking maybe is concerned or sleep quality overall let me know in the comments i answer every single one and i hope you'll see you in the next video